What's good guys? Okay, so today is gonna be um, a big video because I get asked this question so much on my TikTok. If you're not following my TikTok, um, my TikTok is James Fighting Fire, bro. Um, but I get asked this question probably more than most, to be honest. As you see, I am absolutely covered in tattoos. Um, and the question is, does getting tattoos hurt more when you've got fibromyalgia? Um, well, today I'm going to bring you with me because I am going to get a tattoo. I'm going to get a portrait of my two babies, which I've wanted for the longest time. Um, so I'm going to answer that question for you today. So what I want you to do is stay tuned and watch the video. Um, I'm going to show you some some of me getting the tattoo. I'm going to show you the shop, etc., etc., and I'm going to give you my feedback after. Pretty nervous today. Um, I'm feeling a little bit sickish, but like I always say, I ain't letting fibromyalgia stop me doing anything. And I love getting tattoos. Um, I love how they look. I love them meaning something to me. Um, all my tattoos mean something to me. So just like the gym. Just like my fitness, I will not let fibromyalgia beat me and I will not let it stop me doing what I want to do in life. So guys, come with me to get a tattoo. Let's go. Right guys, so uh, I'm outside the tattoo shop. I am just about to go in. I'm gonna go and get myself a Lucasade for a bit of energy, a chocolate bar. They are my standard things I do when I go for a tattoo. Um, you don't wanna go in there hungry because that's how you faint. Um, I've also got my uh, Zepanes, which have to be taken with me anywhere I go because I probably won't take them during. Um, I never really do. I never really use. No I, I've never used numbing cream, um, nothing like that. But just to have them, just just for safety, I'm expecting to have a flare probably tomorrow. But I get a few flares a week anyway, so it's it's no different to me. Guys, I'll catch you in the studio. Right guys, so I'm finished. Um, I am currently in my car, obviously as you can see, I finished the tattoo. I didn't get too much of uh, footage inside the tattoo parlor because I'm one of them people um, that just don't want to stick a camera in people's faces. Um, I just think it's a bit rude. Um, so I just got a few clips. Um, and obviously the bit that you guys are waiting for is to know that if it's painful when you've got fibromyalgia. So, I've had tattoos before I had fibromyalgia and I've had a few tattoos since I've had fibromyalgia. My tattoos are starting to feel a little bit worse. Um, however, um, the tattoos that I've I've had since having fibromyalgia haven't been in the most comfortable places. So the back of my head and my neck, which is notoriously painful, um, and my stomach and my solar plexus, which is also very painful. Um, so I don't know if it's because of the fibromyalgia that they're getting more painful or just the places that I'm selecting them that they're more painful. Um, however, this one here was just on the side of my ribs um, and that is notoriously painful. And it felt, it is honestly was the most comfortable tattoo I've ever had, ever. Um, there was no pain at all it was the literally it was the least painful tattoo i've ever had in my life and that is down sorry guys and that is down to the tattoo artist amber she's she's a wicked tattoo artist she does amazing portraits and she's so gentle it's unbelievable it is it is so gentle the worst thing about the tattoo was um near the end the rubbing so the alcohol solution or whatever they put it on you to clean you that and that wasn't even bad um so yeah um other than that the worst thing about the whole um situation is just feeling really uncomfortable and in pain because i've told you guys before and and and, and if you haven't heard this from me my fibromyalgia pains me when i'm inactive so um my legs was resting on a cushion so they was on where my calf my calf muscle was and my legs started to go really sore from the pressure um my arms i kept getting um dead arms um both arms and my back and my lower back was just absolutely killing me um other than that 
um, when I was getting the tattoo, um, I was absolutely fine. So guys, what I would take away from this if I was you and you're and you're looking to get a tattoo, first off is is just know that any tattoo pain is gonna be pain because it's just unless you've got no or a high pain threshold, you're gonna feel pain from a tattoo. Although this was the least painful one I've had, you're still gonna feel some discomfort. Um, if you feel pain through inactivity like me, then sitting in a chair for four or five hours, you're gonna feel that kind of pain. And thirdly, I would say, just think about it may cause a flare up. However, like I say all the time, I'm not going to let fibromyalgia dictate my life. I love tattoos and I absolutely love this piece. This is a piece of my babies. I've always wanted to get my baby's face on me. And now that I have completed my family, I had to get my little boy and my little girl at the same time. So, guys, I hope you like this video and I hope uh, you take something from it not to let fibromyalgia beat you if you want to go and get a tattoo go and get a tattoo you're going to feel pain anyway you're in pain regardless you're in pain every day so if you have to do it and you have to go through a flare it's part of our life and it has to be done guys like i always say i hope you're having a low pain day and i hope your fibro flare-ups are at bay